G'day everyone, it is Coach Michelle J. Raymond back with another tip for all the company page admins out there. Shout out to you guys because there has been so many changes on the company page admin layout, which it's a little confusing where everything's gone. I wanted to do the video because how you access this feature is buried these days and I think that it should be front and center and at the top of the list of your things to do. You're forgiven if you're scratching your head and wondering, but Michelle, why would we want our company page to follow other company pages? And the simple answer is page advocacy. It's time to get our company pages out there and active and having a dedicated feed where you can go and support whether it's your customers, maybe you've got distribution partners, maybe it's leading industry bodies that you wanna show up. Think about what are the different ways that your page is involved in the industry that when you get out there and like and comment, think about it as a little signpost that goes up for your brand to direct people how to come and learn more about your page and therefore about your brand and about your company. And this is how we get more opportunities. So no more just posting content, knowing it's not going to show in the home feed. Time to get active. So let's go across to LinkedIn and I'll show you exactly how that can happen. Here we are over in company page admin. So we're behind the scenes in my company page. And what I love about the new layout is everything you need is on the left hand side, right? So nothing really stands out, but everything you need is there, not all over the place like it used to be. And what you can see here today is LinkedIn with the new reminder system has got an action here today for me as the page admin. And it says follow other pages. You can access this feature from here or you can scroll down on the left and see the feed button. And I would get into the habit of going down to feed to put a reminder into your calendars to do this frequently. Now, I've already got a couple of pages set up and what this looks like is I've got a dedicated feed behind the scenes of just the company pages that I'm following. So in this case, wow, I'm following my podcast page. So if you like podcasts, check out social media for B2B growth on your favorite podcast platform. But as I scroll down, one thing you'll notice is that there aren't any ads that are showing purely and simply posts from the pages I'm following. Shout out to the team at Social Media Examiner. I love to always keep up with the news that they share and Metricool are my podcast sponsor. So I want to make sure that I'm showing up and supporting. And you can see how easy it is here. We like and that's liking as the company page. And I could leave a comment if it was something that was appropriate for my page to get involved in. That's just a couple of examples. So I'm going to scroll back up to the top. The question is, how do you add more pages if you want to follow more? Top right hand corner, manage following is the answer. You can see here the company pages that my company page is currently following. If I wanted to follow another company page, all you do is type in the name at the top. So I'm going to type in one of my other clients and we're just going to bring them up and click follow. And now their posts will always be showing in this particular feed. I don't have to go looking for them. I don't have to wait for a notification. And this way, if I miss something, it's going to show up. And when you're finished, you just hit done. For those of you who think, you know what, I don't really want to follow that page anymore, then all you need to do is go back and you can click on following again. And that now means that your page is no longer following that page. And this doesn't influence anything that you're doing personally. Once I hit done, we are just taken back to where we've got the dedicated feed for all the company pages that my page is following. That's really how easy it is. Only takes a couple of seconds, but it's going to save you so much time. The way that you can make the most out of this particular feature is go and have a conversation with your teammates in other departments and find out who is it that your company page should be out there cheering on? So page advocacy for the win. Make sure your page is active. I hope you've enjoyed this quick tip. And don't forget, if you are not a subscriber to the channel, make sure you do that because I've got lots of great tips to help company page admins really get their team out there and supporting business growth. So until next time, cheers.